Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us here today. I'm speaking on Treaty 6 territory, and I also want to acknowledge the Métis people of Alberta who share a very deep connection with this land. And thank you to the Edmonton Center for, Mennonite Center for Newcomers for hosting us today. In schools right across Alberta, students, staff, and families are struggling with the effects of the UCP cuts to education. Because of the damage done by Danielle Smith and the UCP, classrooms are harder to teach in, and they're harder to learn in. There are more kids crowded into each classroom. Danielle Smith has refused to build new schools and growing communities around our province. And we are short teachers. So let's have a look at just how desperately short we are of those teachers who make such a difference in students' lives. In 2019, the number of students, this is when Rachel Notley was the premier, the number of students in the province was 730,375. And for those students, we had 37,000. 197 teachers, certificated teachers. This is information all available in the Government of Alberta budget documents. However, in today's budget, under Danielle Smith and the UCP, we'll have uh, 766,280 students in Alberta classrooms. And for teachers, there are actually fewer than there were when Rachel was the Premier. There are only 37,039. So the ratio of students to teachers Point six four, but that's certainly up today. If we were to apply that same ratio, wanting to have nineteen point six four for the seven hundred and sixty-six thousand uh, students, and I have pre-done my math, like uh, many quick teachers who want to be able to think on their feet, we would have if we wanted to maintain that ratio, we'd have thirty-nine thousand. Uh, what we would have had if we maintained the same ratio just a few years ago and what we should have at least today if we were maintaining that ratio. So that difference is in fact um, uh, one seven teachers short in the province of Alberta just if we were to maintain the ratio that we had when we were previously in government. That is a lot of students who have been shortchanged by Danielle Smith and the UCP. And the UCP has deliberately starved our schools for resources and underspent the education budget by almost a billion dollars over the last two years. They even started, stopped reporting the class size information that used to be publicly available to everyone. So Alberta families in, uh, under Danielle Smith, they're trying to actually deprive them of the information to be able, able to even know how shortchanged they are. So I think about the many students with learning challenges who need extra help and um, that they badly didn't get that help under the UCP and that there certainly was space in the budget to hire more educational assistants and teachers, but the UCP decided not to. I think about the teachers who are overwhelmed with more kids who have more complex needs than ever and that they're wondering how they're going to get through the year. And most of all, I think about the Alberta families. families emerging from some of the toughest school years that they've ever seen, only find that their kids don't have enough resources to get them caught up. The truth is, those resources are available if we had a premier who prioritized students, teachers, staff, and families. Alberta families absolutely deserve better. We need a government that will invest in world-class education for Alberta students, and this is absolutely crucial for future innovators, healthcare workers, scientists, skilled tradespeople, entrepreneurs of the future, the list goes on. A well-educated society will power Alberta's future economy. An Alberta NDP government will build new schools and we will hire more teachers to get class sizes under control and we will restore public reporting of class sizes for Alberta families. Thank you very much and I'm happy to take your questions. Thank you. Just a reminder, if you're on Zoom, it's the raise hand function. If you're on the phone, it's star nine. We'll start on the Zoom. Okay, we'll go to the phones, and Catherine, your line is open. Hi, I'm Catherine Rukowski, Alberta Today. So I'm looking at the, the budget lines, and the amount that's funded is going up. So I, if I'm anticipating what the government might say, they might say, well, we're funding education to record levels. So why, why is that not translating in, into smaller class sizes, do you think? 
Well, because over the last three years, they haven't. They've, uh, when you look at the actual per pupil funding that we've seen to Alberta schools and how much um, at, they were allocated by the government of Alberta, uh, it's uh, continually been eroded. Things like cuts to the funding for students with disabilities who were in the early years through that PUF funding grant, that got cut. Um, the fact that they brought in this weighted moving average that meant that the growing jurisdictions in our province didn't get funding to keep up with the number of students they had. So uh, you're absolutely right, they will try to spin their way out of this, but the math doesn't lie. The number of students and the number of teachers, uh, the number of teachers has gone down, the number of students has gone up, the ratio has gotten worse, and we're about 2,000 teachers short if we just maintained what we had in 2019. Do you have a follow-up, Catherine? Well, of course, we're heading into an election. I hear. Um, I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm wondering. Are you committing to a specific ratio? Are you looking at reopening some of the class size initiative? Uh, we will. Funding? Like what? What do you want to do here? Thanks, Catherine. And uh, definitely our leader will have uh, many more details to roll out in, in the next 41 days as people prepare to vote for who they trust with uh, education and, and health care and making sure that we have a strong economy for all Albertans, uh, as well as addressing affordability. Uh, I'm here today to highlight just how much worse things have gotten under Danielle Smith and the UCP. I think that they want folks to uh, forget the attacks that they've uh, um, uh, enacted on education, on students and on families. And today, uh, I want everyone to know just how big the number is. We're almost 2,000 teachers short. If we would have just maintained that same ratio that we had in 2019. Thank you, Catherine. We'll do one more pass for questions. Just a reminder, if you're on Zoom, just raise hand. If you're on the phone, it's star nine. Do you have another question, Catherine? Oh, I, I didn't mean to raise my hand, but I do. Um, sure. How much, so in terms, of, in terms of class sizes, how much of that is the province? How much of that is actually school boards and how they choose to allocate funding? Yeah, well, I will say, based on my previous experience as a, a school board trustee and the chair for Edmonton Public, uh, you do your best with the resources you have to try to address as much equity as possible. But when those resources are shrinking, when you don't have uh, as much money per student as you used to, uh, sometimes you're really between a rock and a hard place. Uh, the province absolutely, if they cared about class size, they could number one, show that they're caring about it by measuring it and reporting on it publicly. They've uh, actually refused to gather any of that data or share it publicly because uh, I'm sure that they know that it's gotten far worse under their leadership as well. Um, they could uh, put down specific initiatives, like we used to have uh, class size initiative grants that we had in the province of Alberta, and again, tied back to that with some accountability and some reporting. They could absolutely address uh, class size. They could hire more teachers. They could hire more educational assistants. Instead, they decided to give billions of dollars away to already profitable corporations and to uh, go after ordinary families. Um, this is the absolute uh, wrong priority, and it hurts our future economy by hurting students and teachers. Thank you. Do one more pass for questions. Um, seeing none, that concludes our press conference for today. Thank Thanks, you. everybody.